I'm Shen Gen Fan, Director General of International Food Policy Research Institute. First, I wanted to congratulate the Global Landscape Forum for bringing together thousands of world leaders, researchers, and the members of civil society and the private sector to seek integrated solutions to the complex challenges of climate change. It pre has conducted research to transform agriculture, strengthen institutions, and improve markets to end hunger and malnutrition while combating climate change. This year in Marrakesh, EPRI researchers provided new insights into the impacts of climate change and appropriate policy responses in Africa and Asia. Climate change will reduce overall yields, leading to more hungry people around the world. In Africa, the combined effects of population growth and climate change will put even more people at risk of hunger. EPRI research shows that we can offset the negative effects of climate change by boosting investment in agricultural research, resource management, and infrastructure. Through these investments, we can raise crop production by more than 40% at a global level and over 50% in Africa by 2030. Increased agricultural productivity in agriculture will boost food supplies and incomes and reduce food prices. It will also expand access to food and decrease the number of hungry people, especially in northern, western, and southern Africa. Investments in Africa to achieve these results are estimated to cost about $15 billion annually between 2015 and 2030. However, investments in agricultural research should not only focus on boosting yield, they should also work to increase nutrition, improve resilience to shocks, and mitigate climate change. To sustainably end hunger and malnutrition while addressing climate change, an integrated approach is needed. We must reshape the food system for multiple win outcomes. This new food system must be productive and efficient, nutrition and health driven, sustainable, climate resilient, inclusive, and business friendly. Here I wanted to emphasize inclusiveness of the food system. That is, smallholders, youth, and women must benefit from this new food system. IPRI will continue to provide evidence-based research and we will continue to support the Global Landscape Forum with data, knowledge, and research. Again, congratulations to the forum for their great achievements. We look forward to fruitful collaboration with you to enhance the benefits of our research and achieve a world free of hunger and malnutrition. Thank you.